What's up, my friends? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Canadian Club, your old 43-year-old. Bottle at 45%. That's the bad boy I'm going to be looking at today. We'll see if uh, any of our friends come to join us. Surprise live. I wanted to review this whiskey. I wanted to tell you guys about it. Uh, given to me by my friend Meredith from Praxis. Thank you very much, Meredith. I really appreciate it. This whiskey is 43 years old, or at least 90% or just over 90% of it is 43, 43 years old. We got Raiders Nation in the house. What's going on, buddy? Uh, we got Red Beards Racing, my boy Tyler, Casey Goldberg. What's going on? Um, gentlemen, uh, I'm, I'm doing a little review over here on the Canadian Club 43 year old um, Dota Packway in the house. What's going on? A couple of names I haven't seen. Maybe it's because of the time. Obviously, I don't usually go live this early. I was lucky because my wife took the kids to the park today. They went to a special park, so the kids um, were really excited about it. Uh, there are very few outdoor activities open right now, and parks are one of the few. So they were really super excite excited. So I have some free time. I did a couple of reviews, as you can see, these two glasses over here. One being the Lejeg uh, Valentin Mallet 10 year old, which is absolutely stunning stuff. That review will be out on Monday. And then this one is the Ardbeg 19. Batch two, that'll be out uh, shortly after, probably Wednesday or Thursday of next week. All right. We got Claire the Third in the house, special park. I, don't, I didn't mean it uh, in any, well, either way, that doesn't matter. You know what? I'm not going to justify what I said. Um, so just over 90% of this is what we know for sure to be 43 years old. And it's, that's corn whiskey. All right. So Crown sorry, Canadian club put aside a whole bunch of casks that were aging in rye barrels for a very long time. They started with the 40 year old, which I really liked the 41 year old, 42 year old. This is the 43. I believe they're going to do a 44 next year. And then the 45 is going to be cast strength. As far as I know, um, that's not guaranteed, but it is coming up the pipe, um, very soon. So looking forward to the cast strength version of this, 9.09% .09 of this, or it could be up to that much. We don't know for sure if they use that much, but they are transparent about using younger rye. So I believe it was 13 year old rye in this. So it's for 90% 43 year old corn whiskey and then 13 year old uh, rye up to 9.09%. .09 so just under 10% of that whiskey. This sells for about $350 at the LCBO Canadian which honestly I think is a fair price considering you're getting really, really old whiskey in there. Compass Box, for example, would put a 43-year-old, if they put 43 years old in a bottle and they put up to 90%, they would probably charge upwards of like seven, dollars $800. So that's just perspective there. Um, my boy P-Boss in the house with the wrench. What's going on, buddy? Doing a live because, you know, when the cat's away, the mice play. So I'm able to do that. Uh, and I wanted to review this really nice 43-year-old uh, Canadian whiskey, all right? Now, I do want to do a video in the near future about the Canadian whiskey revolution, but unfortunately, this is not one of the whiskeys that I would consider part of that, all right? What I'm talking about when I talk about the Canadian whiskey revolution is these smaller batch distilleries that are coming out with transparent 100% single malts and different types of stuff like that, but they're very, very transparent in what they do. Now, I will credit Canadian Club for being transparent about what is inside this bottle when you ask, all right? Although it doesn't say on the bottle or the box that it has younger rye whiskey in there, which it does, and that's okay. Other companies are not telling you at all, and that's one of the downfalls uh, to the rules when it comes to Canadian whiskey that they don't have to tell you, but there's a lot of American whiskeys that they don't have to tell you. And it could be as young as like a couple months old, um, in the American whiskey blend. So that's just how it goes. Um, Claire, the third is making his judgments before trying stuff like usual. That's okay, man. We forgive you. Really nice stuff. Butterscotch nose, a little bit of rye spice in there as well. 
Yeah. I mean, you could tell that this is old whiskey. Got that like dusty book kind of note. Really nice on the nose. On the palate. Very mouth coating. Really nice butterscotch note mixed in with like a spice, like a rye spice, which is really cool. Man, when they do this at cast strength, it's going to blow minds. This is 45%. And the only thing I'm missing is that little extra ABV. Otherwise, this would be super, super good stuff. The age thing doesn't bother me at all. You know that you're getting at least 90.01% 43-year-old whiskey. You're getting the rest being 13-year-old rye, which is also pretty old for rye. A lot of people pay big money for 10-year-old rye, 11-year-old rye. This is 13 years old. So for what you get, the value is there. It's 350 bucks. I think it's an excellent price for a 43-year-old whiskey. Do I want more ABV? Yes, but I want more ABV in everything. I don't know if that's for everybody. I think a lot of whiskey geeks these days want higher ABV. But that's really sweet, really dessert-like, beautiful butterscotch. Overall, really, really nice. This is actually going to score better than I thought. I had a few drams out of this. I liked it. But I didn't know how different it was than the 42, the 41. But right now I'm getting a lot more butterscotch than I did the first couple tries of it. Like I said, the remainder of this bottle was given to me by my friend Meredith. So I didn't obviously consume all of that. I like it. It's going to get a higher mark than I thought. So it's called the speakeasy and I can definitely imagine what their idea was for this whiskey. It's, you know, you're enjoying this, uh, at a dinner party after dinner, dessert, like you're speaking to some friends, you know, um, for the price, I don't think you can go wrong, honestly, for 350 Canadian. That's definitely a good price. In my opinion, got to give this one an 86. I think this is good stuff. I was thinking I would give it a lower mark. I'm not going to lie to you, but um, the way it's drinking right now, definitely nice stuff. I can't wait till the cash strength comes out. I think it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited for it. <laughs> um, Gahan Gore, I, I probably butchered that name, but says, I have faith that one day whiskey science will get us to the point where we have um, greater than 100% ABV, which is absolutely impossible because it's 100% is, you know, the max. But um, Lars is saying Wine and Beyond had has had it uh, recently on sale for $220. Nice whiskey. Yeah, that's a great price. Honestly, I, I think that's a fantastic price. Um the CC43 is 320 in Ontario. So I lied. It's not 350. It's 320 bucks. So that's a, honestly even better. You're saving 30 bucks from what I anticipated. Um, very good stuff. You get this is the box that it comes with. All right. Little magnet top at the, you know, snaps shut. And then you get your traditional Canadian club velvet bag. That says Canadian Club on it. All right. So overall, I think it's great value for the for what you're getting, the price. Um, I don't think that there's gonna be too many people that sip that and say, wow, I don't like that. There's I actually guarantee nobody's gonna say that. Um whether they are happy with Canadian whiskey and what they do to their whiskey, that's a different story altogether. But you know you're getting at least 90% 43 year old. And the rest of it is 13-year-old rye. So, yeah. And the bottle, actually, the the original 40-year-old, I use as my um, infinity bottle because I love the bottle. So uh, someone said in the chat, 
The bottle is really nice. It has a nice engraving on the back. Really great quality bottle. Um, so it's not like they're charging you an absurd price because of this decanter that they spent a lot of money on. Uh, 320, you're getting 43 year old whiskey, or at least 90% of this whiskey is 43 years old, and you're getting a really nice bottle to boot. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Red Beer Racing is saying, uh, Did you say this expression is called the speakeasy? Yes. It's called the speakeasy. Um, nice casual drinking. It's 45% ABV and it does, it drinks like it's 39, but like very nice viscosity to it. So the ABV doesn't take away from the fact that it's actually nice and syrupy. All right, so review portion is done. Like I said, this is an 86 for me. I think you could probably even bump that up. If you're a big Canadian whiskey fan, you're going to love this whiskey. I have no doubt about that. If you're a big Canadian whiskey fan, you're going to absolutely love this whiskey. All right, um, I lean towards single malts. That's just me, but I appreciate that. I think it's great for what you're getting and for the price. All right, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit now. Um, I apologize that I looked down on... The screen here this is how i see the comments but the camera is in front of me so it's kind of a pain but uh, my wife actually criticized me the other day she said you don't look at the camera enough when you're alive i'm i'm like well the the camera is actually in one place and the um the computer is in another so unfortunately it's very difficult to do that but we got about 23 people in the chat which is more than i expected what's going on guys hope you are doing well <clears throat> this is a different view of, of this room, actually. I don't usually do my lives in here. I usually do them in my kitchen. But uh, this is my Whiskey in the Six room where I re record all my, my uh, reviews. So any questions about uh, this bottle here in particular? I know Tyler was wondering if it was called the Speakeasy. Um, now that you have me, might as well ask. Carlitos Way in the house. What's going on, man? Carlitos Way has this crazy viral video. Um, absolutely killing it with this viral video. It's got like 12 million views or something like that. I think it's probably up to like 15 million views now. Maybe even more. Guys, send him a follow. He has some funny stuff. He's a really funny guy. I've known him my whole life. Um, 21 million views now. That's insane. There you go. So uh, give him a follow on YouTube. He's pumping out some really funny videos. Check him out. John Williams in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Nice to see you. So we got about 30 in the chat now. Um, I'm going to pitch an idea, and you guys let me know if you think this is a good idea, but um, I noticed that whenever I do a Canadian whiskey or I do an American whiskey, they don't really get a ton of views. Uh, I know that most people view me as a scotch reviewer, which is fine. That's that's my favorite type of whiskey there is, so it makes sense. Tyler Ross is asking, how does this compare to the Wiser's 23 cash strength? Okay, so great question. Um, Unfortunately, this is 45%. So it's a difficult uh, comparison. This drinks, the, the 23 cast strength is hot. Like it's got some heat to it. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think it's great, but it's very hot. This doesn't have a little bit of heat at all. It's just like smooth. I hate that word. I mean, I, I don't mind that word, but I know a lot of people hate that word. Um, but it is. It's It drinks very easy. It doesn't have any heat to it whatsoever, but it still has a nice viscosity, which is surprising com considering all those factors. Um, so I really like it. I think it's very good. I had an opportunity to try the 40-year-old right out of the barrel, so at cast strength, and I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, so that was 100% corn whiskey, 40 years old, right out of the barrel. I think it came in at like 65% or 66%, something high up there. Uh, this was when the CC40 was first launched, uh, I guess, 
three years ago now, just over three years ago now. Um, so that was a long time ago, but that was incredible. Redbeard saying, I spy a little certain something on this. Yeah, so um, my boy Tyler, Redbeard Racing, bought me this bottle right here. It's a Bunnahabin, 50.5%, one of 300 bottles, sherry cask matured, um, 19 years old. 19 years old. Thank you very much, Tyler. You're the man, honestly. I really appreciate it. Um, so I've had a sip of this. I wanted to open up. And then, obviously, a review will come in the near future. Uh, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. There's some really good stuff on my shelf over here that I, I've probably been neglecting, I guess you could say. Um, some really great rum. This is a Caden Heads rum, 19 years old, from Trinidad. This is a Valentin Mallet, 15-year-old Long Pond. It's a Jamaican rum. Valentin Mallet's doing some incredible stuff with their bottles. Um, like I said, I already reviewed this dark, dark one right here is a 10-year-old uh, Lejeg. So <laughs> that does not look 10 years old in my opinion, but it was really, really good. And it got a great mark. You're going to want to check that one out. But this one will be coming soon. I think I'm going to do like an independent bottle rum video uh, or rundown, I guess you can call it, because I got... These two, which are both independent bottles, and I have a four square back here by Kill Devil um, that I got from the UK. Or no, I didn't get this from the UK. I got this from Alberta, I think. 46%. So some really great rums that I want to share with you guys. And the great thing is whenever I try something on this channel, there's a good chance that it's going to show up in the mystery jams on my Patreon. So if you don't know what that is, you should check out my Patreon because... Uh, you can be part of the Mystery Dram Club. Uh, can we see the artwork on the bottle, please? Yeah, absolutely. Let me get it for you. Robert's in the house. What's going on, buddy? So this is the the Long Pond. The... The Jag is way nicer. This looks like just like the fires of hell or something. I don't know what the heck that is. But, but the you know what? I'm going to get it for you guys. I know I'm going to be off camera for like 10 seconds here, but I'm just going to get it for you because it's in the hallway right over here. Um, hopefully, I don't drop anything. Yeah, that one's cool. This one's better. I'm going to show you. One sec. 40 people in the chat. Guys, don't go away. One sec. All right, here it is. That wasn't even 30 seconds. That was like three seconds. Uh, the Lejeg is nicer. Okay, it looks like, legitimately looks like a Picasso or what I would imagine a Picasso would look like. Obviously, I'm no art buff, but um, check this one out. That's the Lejeg. This is the 10 year old. I feel like they saved the nicest art for this bottle here. And I think it's because they really enjoyed what was in this um that's the color so again if you're not part of my mystery jam club there will be a few of these showing up because this this release will come out this uh review will come out on monday so the review comes out monday <sighs> um richard just dropped a huge super chat thank you very much brother he says, what the hell, man? Alive during business hours. I apologize. Uh, you know what? For me, this is what? Almost 5 o'clock? I don't even know what time it is. I did a couple of reviews. So um, it's 440. And the wife took the kids to the park. So I have some time, which I normally don't. It's been crazy in lockdown. Trying to get videos recorded with kids. And then by the time they're in bed, I'm exhausted. <laughs> It's, I'm going to paint the picture for you right now. So this is what it's like. I'm a teacher. My wife's a teacher. My son is in kindergarten, or at least SK, so it's, uh, his second year. Um, and he's trying to learn. My wife's trying to teach her grade eights. I'm trying to teach my grade fours. And my daughter is three years old, striving for everyone's attention. So <laughs> it's, been, it's been rough. It's not been easy, to say the least. So um, whenever I have a chance like this, I have to take advantage of it. So that's why 
I'm doing this now. Um, this is the rum rundown that's coming up shortly. I might put it in the chat, but I might like debate whether or not I'm going to do it live or something like that. I better win something. <laughs> Richard, we'll send you something for sure, man. We'll send you something for sure. <laughs> I, better win something. I hope you're not, I hope this is not distracting you from your job. I don't want you guys getting fired on my account. Um, <laughs> sounds difficult my sympathies i you know what john it, it it actually is i'm gonna knock something over this table is a lot less sturdy and it appears a little bit more sturdy in my in my videos who poured themselves a drink <laughs> yeah that's a good question actually who, what are you guys drinking is anybody drinking it i think john would be because john john guys if you haven't checked him out you got to go to john drinks on youtube um from the uk really cool guy does some cool reviews you got to check him out um he's he's probably got something in the glass right now <laughs> tyler is saying that it does look like a picasso that's the lejeg that i just showed you guys honestly it's such a beautiful bottle even when i finish this bottle i'm just going to keep it that's the back of the bottle the front of the bottle is really nice too that's the front of the bottle okay this lejeg is 53.7%, 10 years old, uh, Sherry Botta Punta casks, whatever that means. Steve P in the house, Whiskey A in the house, Tyler Ross is drinking coffee. Um, Richard is saying the benefits of working at home all the time. Yeah, that means you got to pour yourself something, buddy. All right, I'm going to move on from this Canadian Club 43-year-old, which I gave a 86. Really like it. I think it's great value for what you're getting, in my opinion. Um, to the Ardbeg 19-year-old, I'm not going to tell you the marks of the Ardbeg or the Lejeg, and I'm not sure if I'm going to finish these because I still have to eat dinner. Uh, but these reviews will be coming out Monday and probably Wednesday of next week. So... If you're a Patreon, you'll get it sooner. If not, then you'll get it Monday and possibly Wednesday. Joseph Horton. And, uh, Joseph, I just threw, well, I should say that to Tyler as well. But Joseph and Tyler, there is something special on its way to you guys. Very shortly, you will receive it. Um, but he's saying aloha, Rob. What's going on, buddy? So we have two Hawaiians in the chat, which is rare. We, we actually usually don't have any Hawaiians in the chat. Rich Acton, I should lie. That, that's a lie. Richard's always in the chat. Joseph doesn't make it as often, but it's nice to see you, Joseph. I appreciate it. Um, is the art bag the, yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, that's how it's spelled. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'll butcher the hell out of it. But this is the 19-year-old uh, release batch two. Okay, so the newest release uh, from Ardbeg 19. Okay, um, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I know my, my boy Jeremy is not a big fan of Ardbeg these days, but I really like it. <laughs> Richard said it's because Joseph works that he hasn't showed up in the chat too often. I, <laughs> that's all right. He's not a bad guy. He's got to do his job. Uh, we got 34 people in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. So since Richard said I got to give away something, I guess I got to give away something, right? Well, what should I give away? What, what do you guys want to try? I guess, so Richard dropped the super chat. Uh, he'll be entered in. Anybody that wants anything that they see here, how about that? Anything you see on this shelf, you can have a sample of uh, for a minimum of, you know, Whatever it is, one dollar, two dollars, five dollars. There you go. <laughs> John calls it the art bag tree van, <laughs> just because. <laughs> Nobody else super chat. <laughs> Richard doesn't want anybody else to super chat, so he wins the sample. I love it. That's fair. I don't. I don't blame him. He doesn't win very. Actually, last time he won two samples. He got really lucky last time. A 
Guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I wear these Into the AM shirts a lot. You should check them out. I usually put a link in the description below, but um, you should check them out. They have some cool stuff. The fit's great. Like it, They actually really fit. Um, <laughs> Whiskey A is saying to Richard, don't be greedy. Yeah, I know Jeremy's not a big fan of the Yardbag 19, but I think it's incredible. I absolutely love it. Would you take batch two over batch one? Uh, yeah, I would. Batch two is better than batch one, in my opinion. Redbeard just jumped in. <laughs> just to stick it to Richard, actually. <laughs> so thank you, Tyler. Appreciate it. And then Joseph Horton jumps in. Truth, working hard for that whiskey um, with another super chat. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, whichever one of you wins, you can choose what anything from this. The rum collection is really nice. I got uh, Cragamore 20 back here. I got a couple of Tam Dews, the 12 and 15. I got a Glen Alki 11 hiding back here that's been sitting here for months. I don't know why I haven't brought myself to review this whiskey. It's been sitting there for months. Optimore 10-year-old here. I got a really cool uh, Kalila. It's 11 years old by SMWS called Smoke Salt Orange Peel. Then obviously I have the Canadian Club 43, which I'll give you a sample of that if you want it. I got the Michter, the newest Michter's uh, Barrel Strength, the Rye, 53.2%. I got obviously uh, the gift from my boy Tyler, Red Beer Racing, who just dropped a super chat as well. Um, it's a Bunnahabin 19-year-old from 2001, 50.5% sherry cask mature. So that's there as well. And then a couple other things back here, but I'll let I'll give you guys a better look. I close it now. <laughs> Redbeard saying, is Kalila a Diageo product? It is a Diageo product, but it's one of my favorite Diageo products, I think. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of Diageo products that I really like. Lagavulin, Talisker, Cragamore. Obviously, the uh, the high ups, the Klein Leash, the yeah. Joseph saying that Bunna looks good. It's very interesting for sure. It's I've only tried a small small bit of it. Definitely very interesting. Indian got in the house. What's going on? I was hoping to get some of my UK friends, to be honest, um, because I went this early. I know that it's about, what, like 9, 30, 10 o'clock or whatever. What time is it now? It's almost 10 o'clock there or maybe a little bit later, maybe 11 o'clock. John, what time is it there, man, if you're still here? Uh, AI is saying Kalila is very underrated. I agree. It's fantastic stuff. Yeah, uh, 2148. Now you're making me do math, John. Jeez, I haven't used military time in forever. So what's that? That's 948? The Whiskey Journal is jumping in with a super chat. Thank you very much, buddy. He says, loving the daytime live. Perfect for after work. Thanks, man. Thanks for dropping the super chat. I appreciate that. So I'm drinking the Ardbeg 19, which allows you to choose that one if you so see fit uh, for the dram that you would like. Or, of course, this the Jag, which... I'm absolutely in love with. It's crazy. It just doesn't even make sense for a 10-year-old what's going on in this glass. Uh, 22.49, where AI is. So what's that, 10.49? Guys, you're, you're testing me here. Um, Tyler's saying, John drinks. It would be nice. It would be so nice to take a trip to Scotland. Yeah. 
I, I think John is from London, though. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Indian God saying, is this after school whiskey classes with Rob? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should start like a segment on Wednesdays after because Roy always does his uh, pretty much after school dinner time segment for me because I'm watching while eating dinner and my wife's always giving me like a dirty look while I'm watching Roy live. Um, but this would probably be a cool time to go live more often. Will there be a quiz? <laughs> That's awesome. 10.49 in Germany. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, 22.49, 10.49. I was right. See? Not so bad. Yeah, that's good. That Ardbeg 19 batch 2 is really good. Indy saying, do you need a TA? I, honestly, I would love one. I wish I had a TA because... My university days, I, I used to envy the prof because he used to just pass on all the marking and tough stuff to the TA, and he would just do his lecture. Like That's that's my strength. I just want to do the lecture. I don't want to do any of the marking or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, I want a TA for that. That would be awesome. John Drinks is saying, I'm a Manchester man living in Edinburgh. All right. Okay. I didn't, why didn't I know that? I should have known that. So he is in Scotland. All right. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so this this Lejek, uh, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but I've already probably given enough. This Lejek right here from Balanchine Mallet, Italian independent bottlers, okay, 10 years old, cash strength. It's the best word I can use to describe this whiskey is stupid. And I mean that in the, the nicest possible way. It, it, it's stupid because it doesn't make sense how complex it is, how much is going on in this glass. Like I, I've never tasted anything like it in my life. It's the most unique whiskey I've ever had by far. Bar none. And like dark, like literally molasses. It, that's what it looks like and smells like. If you're just joining us, guys, I reviewed the CC43 right in the beginning. I gave it a 86, but I recommend that you go back and check out my notes on that. I think it's worth the buy for sure at that price. I don't think you're going to find a 43-year-old whiskey anywhere in the world for 320 Canadian. Um, I'm not sure what that works out to in American dollars, but less than 250, I think. Uh, so... I think that's very reasonable for a 43-year-old. The ABV on the Lejeg, good question. I think I said it before, but 40, sorry, 53.7% ABV. Guys, um, when I say that, I say in my review that I think history is repeating itself. I'm talking about Samaroli. I'm talking about like moon importers, I think Valentin Mallet is headed that way. If they can continue doing stuff like this Lejeg here and this Long Pond here, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Yeah, AI is saying even the normal Lejeg 10 is great value for the quality. It's it's a different league. Like you would, there's no way I would be able to tell in a blind tasting that this is legit no way at all uh impossible all right but um i'm starting to actually i think i think we're gonna do the numbers soon it's 10 years old yeah it's 10 years old and i i have shown this a few times now but that color is absolutely absurd how's the video quality guys it's okay i'm using uh, some technology that I bought and I see, I think it's much better than my original live streams. So you guys tell me video quality. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to do a random number generator. So we only have 
four people. Uh, I'm going to close it in exactly five minutes. Let's call it five minutes. So at exactly five o'clock, I'll do the draw. We have four people. Cameron Archer is saying, uh, really managing expectations with the Samaroli comparison. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I know. I just basically blew them up. Um, it's probably not even fair to Valentin Malik, but the reason why I say Samaroli is because of the fact that Valentin Malik is also an Italian importer or an Italian uh, bottler. And I've never tasted anything like this in my life. I don't even think I've given a 10-year-old whiskey the mark I gave this. Most whiskeys don't get the mark I gave this. <laughs> Put it that way. So um, you'll find out Monday, but I apologize for overhyping it. I didn't mean to. You're right, Cameron. <laughs> Five minutes. Um, we will be doing a random generator. So far, we have four people. So we have four. I guess I could screen share it, but hopefully you guys trust me. Uh, Lejeg versus Glendronic or Glen Alki 10. Great question. Um, just different. So, so, so different. What, like, if you're an Octomore fan, not that this compares to Octomore, but if you like that, like, smoky, funky, unique kind of whiskey, go with this. If you, if you would prefer, uh, your sherry, typical, like, no unpeated bomb, go with the Glenalogy. That's, but as far as, like, uniqueness, like, crazy unique, the Lejeg is definitely the one. Whiskey A dropping uh, super chat saying, cheers, Richard. <laughs> Richard, man, <laughs> they're after you. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. <clears throat> we are going to do the draw in exactly three minutes. We have five people, so we got to change that. Random number generator. <laughs> Richard is not happy. Not having it. So uh, I will clarify. So far, number one is Richard. Number two is uh, Tyler. Number three is Joseph. Number four is the Whiskey Journalist. And number five is Whiskey A. Uh, what's it for? It's for anything on this table, including the Ardbeg 19. So a sample of any of those. Uh, you can take the, you can choose, Claire, you can choose the Canadian whiskey if you want. I know that's what you want. Or you could choose any of these rums. You could choose that Michter's uh, barrel strength, the Craig and Moore 20 cast strength back here, the Bunnahaven 19 uh, cast strength. There's two Tam Dews here. Octomore 10. Octomore 10 year old, I should say. Um, 11 year old Kalila. The Scotch Whiskey Society sample. Again, another, this is a four square 12 year old rum. Glen Alecky Moscatel, 11 year old, 48%. Um, my boy Phil from Whiskey Wednesday reviewed this today. The Sherry Cask, uh, the Bodega, 55.8% by Aaron. Uh, apparently this is nine years old. I had no idea. Nine years old. Which time do it's the 12 and the 15, the 12 and the 15. Then I have a dis distillery exclusive. This was given to me by my friend. <clears throat> distillery exclusive. Uh, cash strength, um, Akintoshin. I think it's 13 years old. I'm just going to double check that. Clear the third jumps in. I'll take a sample of GTS. I don't have that one, unfortunately. Um, this is 12 years old. 12 years old. Uh, PX cask, Akintoshin. That's, I don't have much left of it. It was given to me uh, from a friend. I still have to review it. I should probably review this soon. Really cool. PX, task number 135, 59.8%, 12 years old. 
not very common for a uh, Akin Toshin. The Tircano, I can give you a sample of that as well, if you want it. Um, I do have an open bottle. Unfortunately, you guys, I've given you an, an insider look at some of my unopened bottles over here. Um, and then I have a Wild Turkey Cornerstone Rye. I have a tequila that, I don't know, I can't bring myself to review. Possibly because I could tell that there's like a whole bunch of sugar added to this with this tequila well they're only allowed to add up to one percent but still uh lots of sugar it feels like i have the lot 40 um i think time's up yeah time's up all right so we got six we got six people all right so claire you're number six again just to recap so everybody knows whiskey a you're five um the whiskey journalist you're four joseph you're three tyler you're two and richard you're one all right let's see how it goes uh joseph saying that he loves the video quality i appreciate it buddy thanks to guys like you this video quality has been made possible generate <laughs> <laughs> all right um so you have it somehow rich has been getting really lucky i don't know if you guys could see that but i hope you can uh rich has been getting lucky lately and he wins so richard will be getting a sample of his choosing from from the bar here <laughs> And Claire has taken over his Richard saying and said rigged. <laughs> Did that show up? I probably like tilted the camera a little bit too much there. There we go. <laughs> Richard is bragging. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Richard won, Joseph. Are you guys close to each other in, in Hawaii? I'm curious now because if you guys if you guys are close by, I can pour him an extra large portion and then he can pour it for you. Spotty reception. <laughs> Claire's saying it's rigged again. All right, so Richard, uh, whatever you want to try, you let me know. I think we sent you a sample of this Lejeg already. I think you won it the last time, if I'm not mistaken. I think, what'd you think of it, actually? I'm very curious. <laughs> okay, so I guess uh, Joseph and Richard are friends because he said you can hear the toilet flush next door. Right on. Awesome. Um, enjoy the GTS, Richard. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't own a GTS at the moment. That's one of the few whiskeys I. I don't own a lot of bourbon, to be honest with you. All right. Awesome. <clears throat> so cole is asking if it's worth the tag i'm assuming he's talking about the canadian club 43 year old honestly man for 320 bucks for 90 percent 43 years old and 13 year old rye which is only like taking up 9.09 percent of that whiskey i think so man i i I think people pay almost 300 bucks for a 13 year old rye. Um, what's that rye? It's a Canadian, it's an American rye. Sorry, I apologize. Um, at the LCBO right now for $400. It's an American rye. It's eight years old. It's the heavily charred. Uh, I know Richard, I know uh, Claire has one of these. What's it called? I can't think of it. Anyway, eight years old. It's a $400 uh, whiskey. So this is 320 bucks Canadian 
and you have 90% or just over 90% 43-year-old whiskey in there. Uh, I, Gene, I believe that the 43-year-old Canadian club is available in the States. I, th I think someone said earlier that it was like 225 bucks American in the States. Parkage, yeah, that's, sorry. Parker's Heritage Rye, eight-year-old, is $400 at the LCBO. Uh, Parker's Heritage Rye, the eight-year-old. So when you compare it to that, I mean, obviously the Parker's Heritage is cash strength, but it's only eight years old. And like, I think it's getting a little bit bonkers as far as uh, American whiskey goes. This is definitely worth its price. When you compare it to any other 43 year old out there, uh, you compare it to like compass box prices and what they charge for 20 plus year old stuff. Um, it's definitely worth the price. Yeah. Joseph is saying he bought it in Oregon. So um, it's available in the U S you know what? That's a good uh, Claire, I, I definitely have to get one made, man. Uh, I definitely need to get a bonkers shirt made. You're right. It's going to happen. I'm going to I'm going to get it made. I'm going to sell it on Jeremy's website so that I don't have to do any of the legwork and I'll kick him a percentage of the profits. <laughs> All right, it's going to happen soon. Okay, I think I should sign out here. Um you guys are all awesome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sticking around. Really appreciate it. We were on for about 47 minutes. That's not too bad. That's about a typical live for me. Um, bonkers and crusty. I know in the intro to Whiskey Rant, I say it's a little crusty. <laughs> People are saying, thanks. Uh, it's okay. I can almost hear Rob's voice from <laughs> from the live. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People are pretty close to my house as well. So, um Richard, congratulations. Let me know what you want from this uh, shelf here. John, thank you for joining us. Everybody, thank you for joining us. Guys, if you haven't already, go check out John's YouTube channel. Very cool channel. You're going to like it. Um, cheers, everybody. Thanks for joining.